Welcome back, Indie Warriors, to your weekly installment of Indie Gaming News with Widdlelol and me, Literary Rose. Before the news comes this week's sponsor, Shieldmade MX. The debut title from indie developers Hit P Studio, Shieldmade MX, is a 2D retro shoot 'em up where you fight off enemies using your advanced Shieldmade technology all the while upgrading your power to unleash more carnage. Pick between three space fighter crafts to start your deep space adventure in this butt-cheek clenching, thread-the-needle combat shmup fans are familiar with. Protect your planet from this invasion fleet in a variety of modes. Enjoy beginner's mode with auto-saving checkpoints in Jaeger mode. See how long you last in an endless survival gauntlet for players hoping to strengthen their sphincter and shmupping skills all in one go. And this is in the Chimera mode. And finally, test your skills to the max in a short but ultra-tough run in Seeger mode. And if you're still in the mood for pain, there are additional versions of the Jaeger and Krager modes that extend them further. You can also discover the many secret boss fights hidden throughout the game, which are only activated through specific player actions and achievements, so you've gotta earn it, bitches. If this gameplay wasn't enough for you, you'll also encounter new enemies and scenarios throughout the many game modes as you play more and more loops. And if competition is what gets you going, fight in the online leaderboards using reviewable replays and statistical breakdowns to min-max your way to the top. Enjoy 40 unique stages found in all the different game modes, unlock titles for your player profile, listen to catchy heroic tunes, and enjoy an optional CRT display emulation to scratch that nostalgic itch. Once again, thank you to our sponsor Shieldmade MX, and check out their game on Steam. Alright, let's journey to the swamps of the Deep South in this spooky and stylish turn-based game with roguelike deck building. This is Toads of the Bayou, and if the keyword salad I just threw at you was hard to follow, understandably, hopefully the gameplay will help out. Play as a party of well-dressed toads looking for a spot to settle in the swamps of the Deep South. Did you like those back-to-back -back S sounds? <laughs> However, our amphibian friends have more than just the muck of swamps to deal with. They must also contend with evil! Prepare to slap that sticky tongue around in combat. Just kidding, you use, like, actual weapons. But you'll need to protect your newly formed community from waves of forces of evil coming from the Baron Sam D. I love that more games have roles of nobility like barons as villains. Fight the bourgeoisie, y'all. Especially those named... Saturday? Okay. The gameplay will task you with expanding your toad population and creating decks to outmaneuver your opponent in strategic grid-based combat. You'll also be building and fortifying your settlement with a variety of unique abilities, upgrading your abilities, and switching between the combat and the building phases of gameplay. Toads of the Bayou launches on Steam in 2023, and I, for one, am excited to see how this game develops because, damn it, did I not know I needed to be a toad in a vest, slapping bitches with a cane, all while never dropping my pipe. Classy. Our second bit of news for this week is Hunt the Night, a gothic fantasy game that offers a unique twist in the action RPG genre. Awaiting you in this soon-to-release title is a top-down, retro-style adventure, dark fantasy lore, and challenging boss battles. <laughs> You'll be playing as Vesper Blackbone, your favorite fanfiction self-insert protag name, second only to Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. If you know, you know. <laughs> you never heard the Ebony Darkness the My Immortal fanfiction for Harry Potter? That shit was famous from how bad it was. Vesper is part of a group that seeks to make it perpetual daytime in order to stave off the monsters of the night that have destroyed humanity time and time again. To do so, you'll be exploring ruins, dungeons, completing hunt missions, and solving puzzles. My favorite. I 
could tell this was going to be challenging just based off the gameplay, but the Souls-like tag was the last hint I needed to know about the amount of suffering awaiting in this game. But I can't help being drawn in by this gothic pixel art that just stuns in its attention to detail. And who doesn't love a goth moment? Not to mention the giant snake boss, the epic looking castle, and the overall moody environments with fast paced combat. Yes. There's just too much here for me, a souls like hater, to pass up on. And I'm ready to be converted. So set your alarms for April 13th, 2023 when Hunt the Night drops with planned releases on major consoles. Now, I don't think I've ever been soul on a game through just the narrator's voice, but the voice actor for this trailer of Moons of Dar Salon is superb. Moons of Dar Salon is a challenging save them all action platformer that has you shooting aliens as you traverse retro 2D environments on a moon. Who would have guessed based on the fucking title, eh? Any games build as challenging strike fear into my cozy loving heart. And the trailer here has me both laughing and clenching my cheeks. I've mentioned a lot of clenching my cheeks here. I, I don't know, I just feel emotions through my butt. I don't know about the audience. Maybe you're broken. I'm definitely not. I'm also intrigued by the ability to control astronaut minions and punishing them as needed. <laughs> I can do the evil I've always wanted to do outside of Pikmin. <laughs> Finally, I want to mention that this game uses advanced platforming AI, which I'm sure I'll never notice but annoyingly enjoy. AI writes our papers, gets jobs for us, and probably one day we'll make our games. Hopefully, they're not fans of microtransactions. Moons of Dar Salon comes out April 19th on Steam, with a later planned release on the Epic Games Store. This next bit of news is actually my second Danganronpa-like game to be featured this month. Inescapable, no rules, no rescue. A tense social thriller that's also coming to consoles this fall. Now, obviously, this trailer doesn't offer us anything in terms of gameplay as you're watching it, but I will say that the anime art and the roster of characters is quite intriguing. And with social thrillers, gameplay is really just a vehicle to the story and the drama. Who lives? Who dies? Who could we fuck? Maybe not that last part, at least for everyone. <laughs> I also really love the tropical island setting, as I believe also Danganronpa did in their second game, and I've just always loved seeing tropical settings in games because they're often very lovingly depicted. With multiple narrative paths promised and fully voice acted dialogue, I'd potentially love to stream this on the channel, since I won't have to destroy my poor vocal cords reading every piece of dialogue. And as a final note, if the design of the protagonist also reminded you of the game Zero's Escape, you'll be intrigued to hear that the composers from Zero's Escape are in charge of Inescapable's soundtrack. As I say the names, Zero's Escape, Inescapable, Escape, 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 Escape. I really love that word for this genre, eh? So social thriller and drama fans, get excited for another world of conflict to dive into. Welcome to hell, I mean, home. That's right, spoopy darlings. We've got a psychological horror game with all of our favorite hits. Secret societies, monsters, repressed family memories, and scary looking women. This one not as fuckable as the Resident Evil big lady, but eh, we'll take what we can get. This is fiction, right? Stray Souls bills itself as both horror and mystery, dumping us in the potato-faced protagonist Daniel's body and going on his journey to discover that the free property he inherited comes with more baggage than he bargained for. Oh man, these character models are a little rough on my eyes, maybe not for you, but for me, but the voice acting sounds fantastic. And I love me a good scary mystery. 
I also got some Silent Hill and Resident Evil vibes, both of which are cited as inspirations. And with the promise that multiple runs will be different due to randomized systems in the game, this could be a real replayable treat. Stray Souls is coming to PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, and Xbox Series S and X in 2023. All right, to our final story in a dystopian world that feels more like a vision of the future a la That's So Raven, MindHack lets you hack and rewrite the minds of criminals. That's right, you'll be literally hacking into people's brains and changing the very foundation of who these people are by finding bugs, which looks like just another word for personality disorders. And if that messed up gameplay element doesn't intrigue you, if you should like more dark stuff, I don't know what to tell you. But this dark future where being anything but neurotypical means your brain is bugged drew my curiosity. And unfortunately, this is not too far from what many people think about being atypical today. So people of antisocial personality disorder might feel very connected to the conceit of this title, or rather the fears this conceit might bring. I'm eager to rehab villains in this soon to release visual novel and see whether these attempts work or if shoving down their troubled past only causes more problems. Get Minehack in Steam Early Access when it releases April 6th. And that's the news roundup for this week. I'm trying a new style where I let the gameplay speak more for the mechanics and instead give you more of my personal thoughts, reactions, and highlights for each game. So if you found this more fun to watch, um, let me know. And just in general, offer me some feedback in the comments if you have any. No pressure. Finally, your question for the week. If you could hack into your brain to eliminate or fix a bug, what would that be? Personally, I'd yeet my people pleasing and my sense of being a burden straight out the window. For now, therapy will suffice. All right, I love you, darlings. Bye.